Shabbat Shalom Aleichem, and welcome to the citizens of Yahweh Media. Tefla, the Lord's Prayer in Hebrew. Avanu, Sabbat Samayim, Yikar Deshimerika, Tavo Maku Teasa, Heza Razanka, Kesevan Mine Kain Baretz, Elaku Kakanu, Tamla Nu Hayon, O Slaklanu, Oko Tevanu, Gimo Shosokim, Gamanakanu, Lako Tehemlanu, Vel Tevanu, Leda Nisayon, Kim Kasanu, Memora, Kilaka, Amamlaha, Viogivara, Vio Teferet, Leolamain, Leolamin, Sila. Praise Yude Wave Yahweh, and praise Yude Wave Beit Nun Sophie Yude Wave, Yahweh Ben Yahweh. To the so called African American, the children of Yude Wave Yehuda Yahweh. True Yisrael, now more than ever, it has an appearance that your humiliation, being put beneath the stranger amongst you, the illegal migrant, being given all you deserve and reparations for chattel slavery, being given to those who didn't help build this country, being given in the form of cash payments, housing, and transportation. It seems that your demonization being scapegoated as the reasons that all things bad and illegal is the so-called African-American's fault. When all people who commit crimes the same, and even more so than you, they get less time and their wicked doings are swept under the radar by the mainstream media. It feels like your oppression is having an everlasting effect. And you are the only one who gets treated this way. You have non-citizens in this land without legal entry, beating up police officers, and the officers of the law are acting helpless. Then you, the so-called African-American, will get hundreds of bullets in a public lynching in the middle of the street for jaywalking, shot up with hundreds of bullets just for doing a small infraction. I say that the illegal migrant is your guide to the European American dominant society member. When they can assault you, and you no longer have the aggression for them that you have for us. That makes them your superior. All this backwards behavior and upside down reality will end on the day of the Lord, Yude Wave Yahweh cometh. Let's take it to Revelations 13 and 10. Revelations 13 and 10. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth by the sword must be killed by the sword. Here's the patience and the faith of the saints. Praise ye the Lord, Yahweh. Praise the mighty God, Yahweh ben Yahweh. How many times have you heard someone say, I didn't have no slaves? That don't matter. You had better educate yourself on the ways that Yahweh punish in the Bible. He does it generationally. He is coming for the descendants of the slave masters. He who kill it by the sword must be killed by the sword. If you have ever murdered someone because of the color of their skin, not only are you going to hell in eternal suffering, but nine times out of ten, so are your children. You had better study these scriptures. Now let's journey to the great Isaiah 14, 1 and 2. To the great Isaiah 14, 1 and 2. For the Lord, Yude Wave Yahweh, will have mercy on Jacob, and yet choose true Israel and set them in their own land, and the strangers shall be joined with them, and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. 
the house of Yaakov. And the people should take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them and the land of the Lord Yudewave Yahweh for servants and handmaidens. And they shall take them captives whose captives they were. And they shall rule over their oppressors. And they shall take them captives whose captives they were. And they shall rule over their oppressors. Who were the captors? Those that brought you here in chains. Your oppressor. Right now, everything seems like the world will not stop crumbling before you when it comes to your suffering. But that is going to end like a thief in the night. For the Lord, Yahweh, cometh to judge all. Jacob's trouble has to be fulfilled. The time of the Gentiles must be fulfilled. 6,000 years of rulership of those to do good and to do bad must be fulfilled. I will release a second part of this video with a different title, but that goes in conjunction of what I am saying right now. It seems like that no matter what you do, you're going to be a permanent underclass and you will always be mistreated. But Ed, there is going to come a day that that will end. Do not worry. Do not fret. Have patience of the saints. This is the citizens of Yahweh Media. Shabbat Shalom Aleichem. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ben Yahweh. Selah.